Hi, and welcome to the second episode of my Essential Flame series. My name's Darren Mostyn, and in this episode, we're going to be looking at the media panel. So I'm going to be explaining the desktops, batch, reels, and libraries to you, and also the sequences. So at the end of the last episode, we'd saved our desktop to a library. So we have our desktop 01 here saved to our default library. So all these clips here in these various reels have been saved in this desktop here, desktop 01, which is the one that we're currently using. So let's just take this clip here. And if I drag and drop it down to the bottom here, Flame allows me to delete that clip. And let's do the same on this one. So I'm just literally taking them out of that reel. And you see they're updating here as well. And if I now save that desktop, if I press save now, it's going to ask me if I'd like to add the new item using the same name or rename or replace. So basically what I'm going to do is rename. So let's just rename this desktop 02. And now we have desktop 1 and desktop 2. If I'd have said replace, then we'd still just have desktop 1, but our two clips would be missing. So now what I can do is by simply dragging my desktop, you see I've got two desktops inside this library, I can just simply drag and drop it onto my viewer panel. And there was the previous state from desktop 1. And drag this one over, and there's my new desktop state. So what each desktop is doing is effectively saving the state that I'm in at that moment in time. So all the clip information, all the reels that I'm working with, the motion graphics that I might be using, composites that I've done, they're all stored at that moment in time in that desktop. If I want to save that moment in time to use later, I would create a new desktop. So we're in desktop 2. Let's choose a clip now. Let's take this clip here. And I'm going to go down to some of my tools here. So let's take this look, and we can add a glow maybe to this shot. My cursor now says pick clip, so I've got to choose the clip I want to effect. And now my cursor says render here, so I have to tell Flame where I would like the rendered clip to appear. So I'm going to choose a reel, I'm going to put it in reel 2. So it then opens up the tool palette for the effect that we've chosen. And I'm just going to make a few little changes here, I'm not going to go into this in any detail, it's just to show you creating an effect. And we just say render, and exit. And you see now we've got a new clip with our glow effect on it, and that is stored in Reel 2. So I can do what I want with that clip now. I can double click it and play it. If I press Escape, I'll go back to my desktop reels. And if I move this clip from Reel 2 to Reel 3, it'll update live in the media panel. And this is all in desktop 2. So what I'm going to do now is save this desktop, but I'm going to save it to a new library. So let's press Save. I'm going to keep it the same name, but this time I'm going to create a new library. So now you can see we've got the same desktop name, but it's in a different library. So we can go desktop 1, which was our original desktop. Desktop 2 is now our desktop before we created the effect. And desktop 2 in library 2 contains our effect. So you can see by saving desktop 2 into a separate library, it doesn't overwrite the original one. So now let's save the project itself, which saves all our desktops and all our libraries. So your clips and media don't have to be stored in reels. You can actually store them straight into the library. So what we could do is right hand click here, say new folder. And we can actually drag and drop straight from Finder. So just select the clips and media that you want to bring in and drag and drop. So what I can do now is take any one of these clips. We can drag it straight into a reel or I can just drop it straight on the desktop. And that's now been added to this desktop here, desktop 2, reel 4. If I take that clip and delete it, you see it's deleted from the desktop here, but not from our media folder in the library. So if you put your media straight into a library, it's always going to be there. You've also got shared libraries, so in a collaborative workflow, you'll see other users' work listed here. Okay, so let's go and create a sequence. If we click on the timeline here, what you're looking at by default is the, is the clip that's currently highlighted. So that's this clip here. And we can't see that clip at the moment because we're still in Reels mode. So our viewing panel is set to Reels. So we can change that by clicking on here as a player. And now you can see the current clip that's highlighted. But that's a single clip, that's not a sequence. So if I press Escape or use this menu, I can go back to the desktop Reels. And down here, you'll see Sequences. So what we can do is right-hand click in here, say New Sequence. I'm going to just take the default here, so it's, this is taken from my project settings. We say create, and there is our new sequence on the sequences there. And you also see that in the media panel, sequence 01. Now at the moment, we're still viewing the clip, 
that's highlighted, which is this one here. And to go onto the sequence, we just click here. So we've now got an empty timeline ready to populate. So let's put our first clip in there. Just drag and drop down. We've got one video channel at the moment. And press play, enter to play. And there's our first clip. Let's get another one down. Join that on. Again, just pressing enter to play. Now, if we want to see that in a better view, we can go into source sequence view, which behaves much more like a traditional nonlinear editing system. So you've got your source here and your sequence on this side. So what we can do now is use our source window as a much easier way of playing through our clip and marking in and marking out. So let's just add an in point and an out point. And we can actually now drag that down to the timeline. So we've made three edits there already. So changing out of the different viewer panel modes is really easy. We can just be in one large player. And back in the reels mode, there's our sequence. And what I'm going to do now is just save this desktop. So let's press save. And what I'm going to do is overwrite the previous desktop that we had. So I'm going to keep the existing name, say replace. And that's now overwritten the previous desktop state. So that's a quick look at the timeline and building a sequence. So we're now populating our media panel even more, but what we haven't looked at yet is batch. So if I just open up batch here, you'll see there's some default schematic reels, and these are dealing with the batch area. So if we click in here, you see we've got an empty viewer because we haven't actually put anything into batch yet. So one way of populating this area with media and allow you to use the tools in batch is to simply drag from the reels or from your library into one of these schematic reels. So if I take a clip from this reel and just drag it into batch here, you see we now have our first clip inside a schematic reel. So this clip can now have an effect applied to it using the batch. We're going to look at batch in more detail in episode four, but let's just see how it looks in tools. So if I go back to our default area, we're now looking back at our reels. These are our desktop reels. We've got our sequence that we built earlier. And you'll also notice there's a clip in batch. So to view that, we need to take this icon off Reels and apply it to Batch. So now you see that the viewer is looking at the schematic Reels and not the desktop Reels. And we can add more clips to Batch by simply dragging from the desktop Reels or from the library and just add it to a schematic Reel. So you see in Batch we now have two clips. So hopefully that gives you a much better understanding of the desktop, the Reels, Batch and libraries within the media panel. So in the next episode, we're going to import an XML sequence and we're going to show a full round trip between Flame and DaVinci Resolve. So thanks for listening.